What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today, we got some more Kentucky Dynasty NCAA 04. The struggle is real, but I'm having so much fun playing this game, commentating over this gameplay. Hopefully, you guys are still having a good time. These things take a while. NCAA 06, I kind of knew what I was... This, I have no idea what we were in for, and it's been a real struggle. Can we beat number 22, Alabama? We almost won last week. We were so close to pulling off the upset versus Indiana, but we let it slip through our hands. I could feel it coming in the air that night. All I do know is that it's a new game. Alabama is still Alabama. They are one of the better teams in the SEC, one of the better teams in the whole nation. We are not there yet, but we are making strides. We know who we are. We are a pass first, one running back type offense. We spread things out, and we just need our defense to tackle and make plays. And that's our M.O. So second down and 10. They're going to drop back the pass. That pass incomplete. And look at the foolery. How, Sway? How is that pass interference? And then they throw a dime to Franklin. And Franklin going to do the rest. Touchdown, Alabama. And just like that, the Crimson Tide are up 7-0. So we're going to receive the kickoff from our own goal line. And we're going to work our way up to about the 20-yard line. We're going to run the ball with number 30. We're going to drop that to 21, so gain of one. Second down to nine. We're going to drop back, throw this thing to the right side. And Charles Lopez, the junior college transfer, is an absolute monster. I wish he was a true freshman. He's a junior, which sucks. We're only going to have him for one more season unless he decides to go pro. He might be having that kind of season. We're going to go up the gut, and that run play get is not a darn thing. Third down and 10. Looking left. Throwing it, and we overthrow Lopez just slightly. And that's not exactly what we were trying to do. And yes, number 11 is our new starting quarterback. Number 7 is healthy. He's ready to go, but his accuracy and arm talent is just not the same as number 11. So we're going to rock with him for, for the rest of the season, unless obviously there's an injury or whatever. So looking down, still we get a sack. That's what I need, some heat coming off the edge. Let's dial it up again. We're not going to dial up on this play, but they do throw to the tight end. And now I'm like, they're going to spread things out. Now let's dial it up again. And number 21 gets another sack. And that's going to force them to settle for a field goal. And that kick is up. And that kick is going to be good. So we're down by two scores, but we are in this ball game. A bad PA call helped them score last drive. We are able to stop them before they can get some major points on this pass drive. So now offense, let's put a drive together. Looking down, Phil, we're going to roll right, and we get sacked. Had no time to even set our feet. We could not read the coverage, and then we throw a pick, and I was like, I thought that was enough room. He had to make a spectacular play based on all his reflexes. We come in with another sack right there, but I felt like I had a winner to put that football through. We just didn't do it. So now they have great field position, and now it's going to be third down to 16. Looking downfield, they throw it to the first down. Markers at the first down. It is to end the first quarter of play. So we were so close getting off the field, but close isn't close enough. And then they go up, that got with the quarterback, and that's going to be a touchdown. The PAT is up, and the PAT is good. So now Alabama is up by 17. So a three possession deficit. And can we climb this mountain? Hopefully we can. First down and 10. We're going to go with the draw play. It's the only run play that I know can work consistently. And if we get a faster running back in recruiting, these draws are going to hit for some big time yards. You got nine on that last play. You pick up about three yards there for a first down. Over the middle. That pass is caught. And that's going to result in a first down right there. Now we're going to run the ball. And we get bottled up and boxed in. So they know what's coming. They probably, you know, watch plenty of film. They know what we like to do. We're going to spread things out again. Going to find number 17 down on his knees. Third down in round five. Lopez makes the catch. And then the spin move is filthy. And he's loose. And he has reservations for six. Touchdown, Charles Lopez. Touchdown, Kentucky. And we're down by 10 points yet again. They go up the gut for a gain of two. We come on that nickel defense. They run the ball, and our safety comes up and brings the pain. So third down and four. All the big fellas are up there, and the big fellas come through with the stop. Get your fullbacks involved, but maybe on that play, you should have went with a different option just because it didn't work. That pass is caught. That's going to be a first down. Move those chains. We have got the score on this drive. It's very, very important that we do so. I've got got Showing some power, even though we are a finesse team. Show some power right there. Game of four. Second down and six now. Gonna set our feet, throw it to Lopez, who continues to torch 
this defense. He is a flame that is too hot to touch, and that's why they can't guard him. They can't get too close to him. That pass caught, and that's going to result in a game of around three, I want to say. Make it just two. Looking downfield for the big tight end. Get the tight ends involved in this offense. And we're going to work the football up to the 20-yard line. So inside the red zone. Draw play. Breaking ankles and breaking hearts. We matriculate this thing to the 14-yard line. Second down. Three yards to go. And then we get sacked. We had the running back out of the backfield. I was looking to the right side, though. It just didn't work out. Now we throw it to Crossley. His hands can't make the catch on that play. We got to set up for a field goal, and we miss it. And I'm going to just be real. I'm turning the sliders for kick accuracy up. Because to me, it shouldn't be that bad of a miss. All right? And I'm usually transparent with what I do with the sliders. And that's the one thing I'm doing is I'm turning the kick accuracy up because that's ridiculous. Okay? We're already struggling enough. Field goals from that distance needs to be a chippy. Okay? They're going to go up the gut and shut it down. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Excuse me. The second quarter play as we head to the third quarter. We will be getting the football first to start the second half. So from the 10-yard line, we get to the 15. The blocking could have been better, but it is what it is. First down and 10. Looking down, Phil will throw it. That pass caught by Lopez. Breaks a tackle, stays in bounds, turns up field, and he's going to pick up a gain of nine. Second down and one. That pass is going to be caught, and that's going to be a first down. You feel me? First down and 10 out of the gun. Looking for a receiver. Number four, forgot his hands on the bench. We had 83 as well. Maybe that would have been a better route to throw to. And now number four is hurt. Might be one of those situations where you fake an injury because you messed up. And I mean, who knows? Anyways, Magruder down the scene makes the catch. The big fella coming through for his quarterback. They go up the gut, and that's going to be a touchdown. Great run there. And the better team is showing why they are so. So we're going to work our way right up the heart of the special teams unit to about the 17-yard line, not quite the 20. We're going to be looking downfield here. We're going to set our feet, fire it deep, and on one flick of the wrist, we're in Alabama territory from our 17 down to their 37-yard line. Looking downfield. And the coverage, and it gets to the receiver, but he's unable to hang on to the football. So we're going to roll right, throw it back left, kind of dangerous, but we do connect the dots, and that's going to result... And they first down thanks to the face mask call. So, tackle an extra five yards, move those chains, rolling right. Looking downfield for Lopez, and that's a Dawkins dime. That pass was put only where a receiver could get it. Just beautiful, beautiful execution. And we find ourselves back in this ballgame, still down by two scores. So, our defense has to get a stop. 405 to go in the third quarter. Alabama has it. They throw it to a wide open receiver. He makes the catch, turns up field, and that's going to be a gain of around 12 in the first down. They go up the gut. Nice physical run, but the defense is there to corral him before he can really get anywhere after a gain of five. So that pass caught. They pick up the rest for a first down and then some in, in Kentucky territory. They fake the draw. They throw it up top. Magruder coming through for his quarterback again. Four straight completions for the Alabama quarterback. They throw the ball, excuse me, they run the ball to the left side. And that's going to result in a gain of not a loss two on that play. They run the ball again. Going to pick up that loss two and maybe an extra yard as well. So third down. They throw it. That pass broken up. They have to set up for a field goal. So the defense did the job there. It's going to be a 13-point lead for Alabama. So the kick is up. Kick is good. We're going to get the football down by 13 now. So we are in this ball game. And fire to the left side. That pass is caught. For a gain of around six, making just five yards. So second down and five. Looking for Lopez. He makes the catch. You know he's going to catch that pass. And that's going to be a first down. Move those chains. Lopez, six receptions, 139 yards. We're going to roll to the left. Still rolling. We're going to throw it to Crossley. But the cornerback underneath peels off of his man and gets his hand on the football to bat that thing away. We go up the gut, loss of one. So third down and 11. We need number 11 to come through, but he runs out of time. It was a three-man rush. We needed more time than that to get past the eight Alabama defenders in coverage. So they run the ball north and south for there for the stop. They're going to be looking at a third down as we come back for the fourth quarter of play. So third down and nine. He's in a four-man rush, not going to get the good protection. The pass was on time and on target, but Magruder forgot his hands in Alabama. Looking downfield, that pass caught by Lopez, takes the contact and hangs on to the ball for a Kentucky first down. Going to roll left now, throwing it deep. That pass is caught, and we work our way in Alabama territory 
to the Alabama 35 yard line. We're gonna roll right. We throw it in the traffic. We were under pressure, but we had circle underneath and that's where the football should have went and it did not go there. And that's our third interception thrown today. So defense, we need another stop. We do stop on first down, second down and 10, we stop them there. So now it's gonna be third down and seven. They'll go with a quarterback draw. Are they gonna pick it up? No, because the best player on the defense, our strong safety, comes through with the tackle. That pass caught and then dropped as a huge hit is laid upon our receiver. Second down and 10, going to the flat. That pass will be broken up. So now it's gonna be third down and 10, looking downfield, and we're gonna get sacked. Should we punt it? Possibly that's the wiser choice here, but we're gonna go for it on fourth and 16th from inside our own 20, and that's not gonna work out. And yeah, hindsight's always 2020. Probably we should have just kicked that thing away. Our defense was playing well this half, but sometimes emotions get the best of you. That pass will fall incomplete, and now we are in some serious trouble. Looking downfield, that pass will be caught. Gonna be shy of the first down. We need about four yards here. Looking for Lopez coming across the middle, makes the catch, and that will be a chain mover. So first then 10, 2.44 on the clock. Gonna run the ball, we go nowhere fast. Drop him back. Looking for Crossley. He makes the catch. He will turn up field. Nice run after the catch. And that's going to result in a first down with 20 of 32. Two touchdowns, but three. Count them three interceptions. That pass dropped. We need that one to be hauled in. Second down. 10 yards to go. Under some pressure, we avoid the rush. We're looking downfield. We throw it that pass in and out of the hands of the, of the defensive back. And that was third down and long. And we get sacked yet again. So fourth and forever. We need 16 yards here. We're gonna roll left, still rolling, and we'll have to throw it underneath, and that's not gonna get the job done, and that's gonna end the ball game. Alabama will milk the clock from there. They move on to 0-3. We fall to 0-4. We are definitely making some improvements, but obviously sometimes our offense sputters, and then I make a poor decision with throwing the ball in the traffic. Still very used to 06, obviously, but, th but that can't be an excuse anymore. I understand 04 and its mechanics and how things work. The cornerbacks on the cover two drop back pretty far, and then eventually they do come back up. So whenever it's zoned, my best bet is to probably go short. But sometimes, like that one play when I was under pressure through the ball on the triple coverage, I was like, I'm probably going to put it in an area where the defensive back can't make the catch. But it went straight to the defensive back, and that kind of cost us there. But we did hang tough. Hopefully we can turn some of these close games into wins. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I hope the rest of the day is the best of your day. Until we meet again, my friends. Peace, love. Hot sauce.